Hi, I'm Mahalakshmi. In our earlier videos, we have seen how to calibrate the pH meter and how to make a citric acid solution. So now in this video, we will see how to measure the pH of a product using the pH meter. I will leave the link of the pH meter in the description box if you want to purchase it. Today, we will be checking the pH of our serum. Let's see how to make it. Firstly, we would need some distilled water uh, to dip the pH meter and clean it. Now, we will measure the product here. So, to measure the pH, I will add 5 grams of the product. And now, 45 grams of water. It is a 10% dilution, so it will be 50 grams. The pH meter that I have is from Nexcoa. First, we'll dip the pH meter in distilled water. And wipe it with a paper towel. Now we will stir our product first and then we will put the pH meter into this and turn it on. So if you see the value is changing constantly, it will be stable at a particular pH that is the one which we need to note. Give it some 10 to 15 seconds, it will be stable at one point. Okay, do you see that the pH is now stable at 4.24? So, this is the pH of the product. If we will move it again, it will uh, change the pH. So, let it be stable so that you can note down the pH. Now, we will turn it off. Again, put it in distilled water. Stir it gently. You don't want to break the glass inside the pH meter. And now, again, uh, wipe it using a paper towel. To increase the pH, you can add TEA or NaOH diluted solution. To decrease the pH, you can use citric acid or lactic acid. After adding few drops in the product, again you need to test it in the same way. Again make some 30 gram or 50 gram batch, test the pH. Now you can uh, leave it to dry for a couple of seconds and then put it back in the box. That's how we measure the pH. Thank you for watching.